but what women? Well, in Miami, because us women have a standard. Yeah, that's like, a thing. Like, exactly. it, 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 it's crazy to me how, like, I, I, here's the thing. Y'all aren't going to know this, but most guys really struggle with girls. They can't get a girl. There's guys that are 30 years old that are virgins. You're not going to find no girl that's 30 years old that's a virgin. Most girls lose their virginity before they're even 18. But dudes, that, there's plenty of 18 year old dudes that are still virgins. Yep. You know what's funny, though? If you look at your lifestyle yourself, right? Mm -hmm. You walk outside, you go on Instagram, guys hit you up, right? Mm -hmm. Do you follow all of them? No. Why is that? Because I thought it was easy. I'm not interested yeah. in any. No, no, I, I, well, I, it was easy. I don't text back at all. Uh, 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 so you only text back a small percentage of men? I don't really text back at all. Okay. Oh, no, what if I told you? What if I told you you're not the only girl that does that dumb shit? Ooh. A bunch of chicks do that. A bunch of girls think I'm special. I deserve the best guy, and they wait out for the best guy. A bunch of girls do that. So a minority of men fuck a majority of the girls. Is that still easy? I think they're still easy. Is that a okay? Oh my goodness. That's my opinion. Oh. But, no, but your opinion is incorrect. <laughs> How is an opinion incorrect if it's an opinion? An opinion can absolutely be incorrect. If I say my opinion is one plus one is three, I'm wrong. That's not a that's a, that's a fact though. It's math. I'm talking about opinions. <laughs> opinions. No, he said one math. <laughs> Never mind. And he gave you math. It's I'm, a subjective I'm, just, I'm giving you. I'm giving you the reality that most men <laughs> like an opinion, struggle an with women. That is a fact. It's been reported in a multitude of different places. Whether it's dating apps, because you mentioned Tinder, women only swipe right on like 10% of men on there, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Facts. Dating apps, Instagram, et cetera. Women that are not attractive get way more messages than the top tier guys. Like, this isn't my opinion. This is a fact. Your opinion is incorrect. It's not easy for men to get laid like you think it is. It's very difficult. Shouldn't that make you feel like good that you have a potential of meeting a woman that's not out there fucking a lot of guys? They still are. It's just that they're fucking a small minority of the guys. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, so, you know, if, so only certain guys get access, basically. Okay. So you're saying... It's okay, the same... Like, let's say you take, like, a city in Miami, right? It's the same small minority of dudes that are fucking all the girls. Yeah, pretty athletes, what do you think that minority that's is that's not getting fucked? Athletes, entertainers, guys that have money, guys I'm that have status. I'm talking about the ones that aren't getting fucked. Your local CVS. <laughs> wait, well, <laughs> wait, wait. That are getting fucked? You mean the girls? DoorDash. No, no, no the guys. The guys. <laughs> McDonald's, CVS. No, the majority of men aren't fucking. Yeah. The niggas that subscribe to your OnlyFans aren't fucking. The guy, and that's the majority of men. Okay. I'm going to ask them. When's the last time y'all had some pussy? Us? <laughs> when's the last time y'all had some pussy? That's a good question. When's the last uh, time y'all had some pussy? Uh, use the bathroom real quick. Serious <laughs> <laughs> hey, question? Why yeah. When's the last time y'all had some pussy? Well, now they're quiet. <laughs> Today? I mean... But what does that have to do with I'm just anything? asking. <clears throat> Today, but I mean, that's not... I'm just asking. What about you, Fresh? What? It's been a while, hasn't it? As a, a little bit. A bit as, of, as a man of God, minute. man, I just want to say... <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to um, keep that to myself, you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, either way. Um, yeah, so, again, going back, because this all started, if I'm going to go rewind here. <laughs> this all started with girls giving bad advice. This all comes back to me saying, if you're with a guy that has money... Most guys that have money are going to exercise options and have chicks. So you might as well pick the guy that has money that exercises options that you like if they're all going to do it anyway is my point. I get you, but I'd rather not pick anybody at all if that's the case. No, it makes sense. That's what. That's why you're in Tampa. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah you'd, rather, <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather be single. And that's yeah. fine. I mean, but the thing is, is that it's easy for you to say that now when you're 18 and guys are still talking to you and shit. But when you hit 28, 29... <laughs> You're going to have to make that decision. All right, am I going to be with a guy that I actually like that has the ability to attract other women? And I might have to... You're right. That happens to be my goal. Got COVID. <laughs> 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 What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? The China virus. You should have to trust. Oh, my God. It's not chill. You are fake. Oh, bad. She has the back coughing. Okay. But, yeah, but does that make sense that, like, there's less of these attractive men than you think yeah, there are. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes and sense. there's an abundance of women. And then there's an abundance of attractive girls. Like, yo, there's another 18-year-old that looks just like you <laughs> that will accept that. So why would he pick you? Okay, that's not okay. I understand that. But what I don't understand is that you fucking a lot of girls, it still makes you less value and it makes you a oh, hoe. You too. You as a man. It's still really? like, that's yes, I, that's what I believe. All right, let me ask real quick on the table. Mm -hmm. Ladies, how many of you guys, if you found your dream man, but you find out that he had sex with 300 girls, would that matter if he was your dream man? You find out after the fact on the wedding, the day before the wedding, 
He had sex with 300 girls. Absolutely not. Would you would you would you call off the wedding? How many of you would call off the wedding? Raise your hand. One, two. Okay. What does if he... I'm in love, it's different though. Would you but call off the wedding? If I'm in love, that's different. If, oh, if you're now. in love, you put you. So why would you be being married, married if you're not? No, no, no. Because let me tell you this: if a guy was in love and he <clears throat> finds out you fucked 300 niggas before the wedding, he's calling it off. Some oh, of these Lord. men. They're down bad. Um, before we, we move off on this, but she's going to say that like shit. But most guys, most guys would absolutely call that wedding off if they found out that their girl had 300 bodies before the wedding. But what I'm saying is that most women will not call off the wedding if they found out that their guy had sex with 300 girls. A man that got sex with a lot of girls is attractive. A girl that fucks a lot of dudes is not attractive. I don't think a man that fucks a lot of girls depends on the type of guy yeah, that you're looking for. Just because you think so doesn't mean that a bunch of girls mm-hmm. don't find it attractive. Well, that's and also that's girls wrong. like experience. You would that, never know the account, the, the like the amount of it. But like for example, his experience would show. You know what? He knows what he's doing in the bedroom. Or for example, in dating. Hey, but three hundred bodies is crazy though. <laughs> but how, but how would yeah, you know but it's it's wild. Would... Sorry, you you had a point earlier. Yeah. So I was saying before, three hundred kids. Th- sorry, kids, not kids. Um, uh, three hundred women. I would look for a man of God, a man that is following the word of God, a man that is following his principles and not a man that is utilizing women. 300 women, that's absolutely insane. That's, those are my values. And I would never be with somebody like that because the right man will come along and the right man will respect himself, will respect women. And that's your opinion, guys. That's, that's compl- I re- completely respect it. I completely yeah, respect but your opinion. Well, it's women. not an opinion. It's I a biological a fact. Women yeah. are 100 percent. That's not even what we think or an opinion. Women are attracted to uh, men that have other women, period. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. I have a question. If you, oh. So you oh. might say, oh, I'm not going to do it. That's cool. There's another girl that will, and a majority Absolutely. of women will accept it. I understand yeah. what you're saying. Like, for example, if there's a guy and that he gets girls, that's kind of attractive. But if he fucks all of those girls, that's unattractive. Like, if you have a lot of girls How that you want know? you. How would you know? Okay, but I'm saying, like, if I were to find out that you fucked all of those girls, that would be so unattractive to me. I'm gonna be honest. At the end of the That's day, cap. if you like him and you were with him, then you find out <laughs> after the fact that he fucked all those girls, you would like that because he picked you over all of them. Stop lying. No, because then all the girls would be like, "Oh, I had your man. I had your man." Like he's not even all that. Oh, so you care about their opinion? I do care. I do care if they all had my man. If they like tell me, "Oh, I had your man," like, but you won. You got him. Your family for now. The they house. All They're marrying you. him. He's forever. My boyfriend has a high body count. It doesn't bother me. Is I mean, that we're in a generation? So you. And is anybody worried good, so. about like the consequences? Okay. Hold on, I, I got hold on. Stop the show. <laughs> um, your guy um, is he like very physically attractive? Yes. There you go. Answer that. That that connected the dots for me right there. I was like trying to figure out like, okay, what's what's going on what's here? The angle? That's why. Okay, it makes can, sense. Can I say angle. something? That makes sense. He he has he had the social proof in the background to be attractive despite the financial disparity. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. And it works. It's like, okay, for men who go out and like cheat on their women and stuff like that, and they like, you know what, it's okay. Like, I still love my woman, whatever. Are you guys ever worried about the consequences of what could happen of you going outside of your like your relationship and like mess around with somebody that you don't know, like your wife? You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. You can knock a bitch, get a bitch pregnant, condom could break, anything could fucking happen. You feel me? That's the only thing that I'd be super like worried about when it comes to like a man like cheating and stuff like that is I, I get paranoid and scared that like you know I just don't that's just scary as fuck you can you can literally die from fucking the wrong person you feel me so that's yeah. just, just scary as fuck I don't know I yeah, just... no, no, that, that, that is a good con- <sighs> uh, concern as well I would say that like ultimately you want to use protection and as well get tested but I mean it's gonna happen at some point what's gonna happen like you're gonna meet somebody that's gonna cheat Oh, I thought you talking about other shit. No, no. <laughs> like, God, <damn. laughs> but no, but, like, that's not what I asked, though. Like, aren't y'all scared of the consequences? Aren't y'all, like, think about the consequences? Or does that not, does that not matter until it happens? I that mean, y'all face the consequences? Ultimately, like I said before, you take precautions. Yeah, but condoms break. We, we all went to school. You feel me? That mm-hmm. shit don't mine, matter. Mine broke. <laughs> that's, that's a fairly rare occurrence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. But if it does, plan B, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a 